every year we have a huge game show that a lot of people love to watch and of course i'm talking about e3 every single gamer knows what e3 is and how important it is for all developers to show exactly what they're working on there's of course other game shows like gamescom and a couple of other game shows like psx that a lot of gamers look forward to but as everyone knows e3 is king but gamers have been salivating and itching for another event that's similar to E3 during the rest of the year. And I'm one of those gamers, because as the year goes on, it will be awesome if we had another event that we can look forward to. And also give us more information on what we love to do the most, which is gaming. Well, it would seem that Xbox is aiming to bring another E3 level event to its fans in the form of XO19. Now, I don't think this is going to be as big and huge as E3, but I do believe that Xbox is aiming to bring another event that will bring hype and attention to the Xbox platform that will run through the spring. And Aaron Greenberg, who's been very talkative lately, had a recent interview where he talks about XO19 and what they expect the event to be. And a lot of things he had to say about the event truly surprised me. So let's dissect exactly what he said in this lengthy interview. But first, if you like the video, hit that subscribe button and that like button. The support is greatly appreciated. All right, enough of that. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of this article. So the subject of XO19 was brought up to Aaron Greenberg and how the event will be held at Copper Box Arena in London, which this arena was a part of the 2012 Olympic legacy. And with such a big venue, Greenberg had this to say. We think of both E3 and XO19 as the big beats of the year. We unveiled a lot of big news at E3 and XO19 will be another key event for us we're going to have a lot of surprises. This is a very telling quote because it does show that Xbox is taking this event very seriously and isn't just showing up to have another lackluster inside Xbox. Instead, it feels like Xbox has some games to show off and maybe show more about games they've already talked about. Games like Bleeding Edge, which is coming next year and has already been received very positively by the people that played at E3 and also the beta testers. Or games like Ori 2, which is coming early next year and is a highly anticipated indie game. And Greenberg explains this by saying this, We have a huge spree plan. So between this holiday and E3 next year, we have a record number of games coming out. So that event will be the perfect opportunity to showcase all those games. Now, I know a lot of people always look to the holiday season for the big, huge games to be released. But over the last two years, it would seem that the spring has just as many games, if not more, than the holiday season. This year, we've had The Division 2, which is one of the best games to come out this year. Crackdown 3, Anthem, Metro Exodus, Rage 2, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, and of course, Days Gone. A lot of games that people have been looking forward to, and last year we had God of War, Far Cry 5, and my personal favorite, Sea of Thieves. A lot of these games have done extremely well for their publishers and found huge success outside of the holiday season. So I think Xbox has seen this trend and is trying to capture that same success by having great games come out around the same time. Not to mention Xbox has a lot invested in Xbox Game Pass where they want to provide a lot of games every single month for gamers. This will entice people to stay subscribed to the service but also allow them to see the value in the service. And it's only logical to see XO19 as the event to set the stage for what's coming in the spring. Not to mention there's a lot of Microsoft talent around the London area. Greenberg says as much when he says this. The choice of London this year is directly linked with Microsoft's expanding development stable, Greenberg explains. London has always been one of the top global markets for us, and it's the home of some of our best creative studio teams. We thought, what a great place to invite friends from around the world to the Copper Box Arena. We've got the Rare team, the Ninja Theory team, the Playground team, all of the top British creative teams will be there with their staff. It's awesome to see all the talent surrounding Xbox coming to the event and showing exactly what they're working on. Now, of course, we're looking forward to the Ninja Theory and their Bleeding Edge game, but we also might get some hints at what they're working on outside of that. Not to mention, we know Rare is working on another IP that's been kept secret, and of course, there's Playground Games, who's probably working on the next Fable game. Could one of these studios show us a surprise that truly shocks us? 
who knows but the event does sound like it's going to be a good one and greenberg talks about how it's the biggest inside xbox show of the year and how they've been preparing for the event for months it's been in the works for many months. We're already deep into content reviews. We're planning out the show. We're working with our internal and external content teams. He replies when asked about the timeline behind the event. It is going to be the biggest inside Xbox show of the year, and it hits during that peak holiday period. We're excited to come back to London and celebrate with our fans there. We have a three-day experience. We want to welcome fans, families, people to come and experience all the great games we have on our platforms. Tickets will be 19 euro and all proceeds go to charity. This is so awesome and I honestly think this is a great event. I remember last year I enjoyed the event and thought of the games they showed and the announcements were pretty good. At XO18, they announced two new studios, one of which was leaked. And if Obsidian Entertainment wasn't linked, that would have been such a huge announcement to bring. Yet at the end of the show, a lot of fans told Xbox and their executives that they wanted new game announcements and better engagement from them. And I remember they said they wanted EXO to have meaning and that they wanted the event to matter more. That's exactly what Xbox fans wanted and it would seem that Xbox listened to this feedback. Because the way Aaron Greenberg is talking about this event does raise my interest and hype for the event. Do I think it will have this awesome big stage with thousands of people watching in anticipation for the next big AAA game to be announced? No, I don't think so. But I do expect it to have a new studio announcement and maybe, just maybe, a couple new games that we don't see coming. Maybe even a AAA game that they've kept hidden. Either way, it's awesome that Xbox is taking the time to make this event a reality. And as an Xbox fan, I'm pretty excited for it. But enough about what I think, tell me what you think about this. Do you think XO19 has a chance to be big? Could this be a mini E3? Can this be just as big as E3? What announcements do you expect to see? What games do you wish to see? And what new studio do you think will be announced? Go down below and let me know. And I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, hit that subscribe button and that like button. Any support helps the channel out more than you know. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Zalker87. I'm always on there talking games and sharing my videos. Also, follow me on Mixer. The link will be in the description. I recently started streaming on Mixer because I find the community a lot more engaging and fun. So if you want to hang out and chat with me, I'm very active with my chat and always playing games. I'll see you guys there. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. And until next time, remember, enjoy your gaming. Later.